Okay, so back at day two on our DT modeling series, and uh, we'll be making these right here, these horizontal bars. So, oops, let's create a, let's create a box, and uh, something like that. Segments perspective Z. Let's move that out forwards. Let's see what we're gonna get. Uh, I'm not sure how I was supposed to do that. Should I bring them in or bring them out? Um, think bring them in. No, actually, I'm gonna bring them out. Uh, it's gonna look a little bit better. Uh, and to do that, what we're gonna have to do is actually take this and bring this in a little bit. This will be a bigger part. So. Let's add some segments to here. Let's go with 50. Perfect. Uh, double poly. Oh crap, it's too high, isn't it? Uh, see, I didn't thought about that. Um. Okay. These effects. Um. Uh, something like that. Okay. Rugged. Connect one segment. I'm gonna do the same thing like last time. Oops, a bit too much. So I'll just move it forwards, jump it down. Oops, control Z. Uh, loop, then jump it down. Yeah, I think that looks pretty decent. Uh, now all we need to do is basically curve this uh, to its backs. So actually, I'm really want to follow this. I would like to. I would like this to have three spokes, not two. As you can see, the second one is down there anyway. So let's create this with three spokes. Just to visualize how it's gonna look. Okay, it looks pretty decent. So let's select the whole dot bit here. And in this case, we'll use four by four. It's a bit more detail to be added. So move this in a bit more. Grab this one. Okay. Then I'll grab these two if they're basically straight things. Then I'll just drop them out. Let's see how this looks. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. And that. Uh, what I'm gonna. Oops, that was wrong. That was my bad. Uh, convert to a double poly, and uh, we're going to delete these two objects right here, and uh, delete this whole side side of this face because we don't need that. This will be on the same symmetry modifier. Um, what is? Oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, drop this down. Uh, and this does happen sometimes, don't worry, it's gonna reappear again. Second one, and uh, let's make one. Actually, drag that more, isn't it? Yeah. That will do have to do some tweaking with uh, FFD. This looks pretty decent. Uh, as you can see, we're gonna have to pull them in just slightly, just, just slightly, and just a little bit. We'll have to do that. Actually, for yeah, I'll have to do that. Sorry about that, guys. Like I'm taking a piss on this one, but I'm kind of when I model, I want to make it so in a way that I won't have to come back if something happens. Cause it's only a few second thing anyway. So try this in. 
good. Let's do this one. The control points. Okay. Uh, now let's attach them. This one. And uh, let's return the symmetry. So what we actually going to get? Okay. Looks pretty decent. Yeah, I can go with that. Um, looks pretty good. The lines are a little bit too fat. But it's okay because when we actually add all the effects and stuff, we're gonna be fixed and it's gonna look pretty nice. Now, the reason why I'm doing it so fast, you'll, you'll see when I actually finish this. Uh, let's grab the whole front of this, can be fun. And what's that? Let me just make this a bit longer. And as you can see, now this doesn't stop. So what I have to do is actually grab only these ones. And uh, let's pull them forward. There we go. And uh, what I'm gonna no, it's not yet. Uh, not yet. Now I need to do the same thing for the boss. For what am I going to use only two spokes? Uh, that's four is really a bit, a bit too much. So let's do that now. Let's pull the spoke out. Perspective Z. Zoom on the object. And, uh, that's about it. Uh, so good. Control and tool. Thinking if I could reuse the top ones, but I think it's gonna be easier to with. I'm not really sure. Let's try. Um, let's just grab one of the spokes. Maybe the bottom one because it's the flattest one. Shift F. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll go with it. I can go with it. Um, okay, okay, thanks for you guys. Um, so we got this done now. Um, the next step we got is to hold W. To crop all this bullshit out of here because this is really unnecessary. And to do that, what I'm actually going to do now is put material editor, just apply new slots, and uh, let's do this. Make it black. It looks it looks much better, doesn't it? It does. It does. I don't care what you say. It just looks much better in black. Um, Rig it, bang, grow. Pull this back to this point here. So, alright, this is the end of this video. In the next video, I'm gonna crop this around quickly. And, uh, alright, so see you then.